I'm Jason Massey, and I'm a singer-songwriter. It's a mixture of all the things that I have listened to, and I do listen to. Um, probably a little bit of R&B, a little bit of folk, a little soul, and a little bit of modern pop. I feel like everybody has a choice to do something. I, mean, I could change my mind and do something completely different, but I think it's the right choice for me. And, and I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing if I'm not playing music. Another one of my fans, Catherine, she really liked the song, The Right Kind of Things. And she was disappointed that I had it in the bag for a few years and hadn't re ever recorded it. So that was something that influenced my decision of putting it on the album. So with the latest album, Life is Wonderful, I, you know, I tried to, I took a song, Life is Wonderful, that I wrote a long time ago, and then I had a bunch of other tunes that I was either currently working on or um, I had worked on in the last couple of years, and I wanted to kind of put those all together into a cohesive form that kind of fit with that theme. For whatever reason, when we were recording it, it didn't seem to work. The flavors that Mike and Daniel put on it seemed to, to make a lot of sense. And so I was excited to, um, to finally get that song down uh, in a recorded fashion that hit hard. Especially in the last couple albums, there were a lot of tunes that I had the chance to perform live for people and the fans, and there were some songs in particular that people seemed to really enjoy and were pressuring me to actually put on the album, and uh, in, including you, because I wouldn't have put Grain of Sand on the album if you wouldn't have told me to. That's a great song, it needs to be on <laughs> So, uh, I'd almost forgotten about the tune, and you bringing it up made me uh, think twice about it and I was like, you know what, this could actually be cool.
I think there are some songs that work really well in the studio, and I think there are songs that work really well performing them live. And one of the goals that I've had as an artist is to write some sexy music, like music that you feel like you're listening to Marvin Gaye, you know, or, or Bill Withers. And it's got that, that groove to it. With me, I, I want people to know. I don't go through the motions when I play my songs. I, I try to connect with that song, you know, regardless of how many times I've ever played it. And I try to add something new to that song every time I play it. Um, so yeah, the, the song process will, will be something like me sitting down with a, a guitar or a piano and, and playing uh, some chords and some melodies and, and seeing if there's something that strikes me. We all as artists want people to, to dig into the art that we make and appreciate it for all that it is and, and all that it took to become what it is. I enjoy what I'm doing and uh, I'm passionate about it and it translates into the performances that I have. I'm not on drugs, uh, but I do take a daily vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.